Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Hi, Valder. Hi, Valder. Hi, Dr. Armstrong. Welcome, Kathy. Thanks for being here on the Valder BB Show. We're live from Dallas, Texas, across the nation. And you guys are here. You're going to tell us about why do my feet hurt? Dr. Armstrong, I'm going to start with you. What can you tell me about diabetic nerve pain and its symptoms? Yeah, thanks, Valder. Uh, so uh, you, whether, we, whether you're in Dallas or wherever you are in the United States or around the world, this problem is really, really common. Uh, probably the most common problem that no one's talking about. You know, there's about 37 million folks now with diabetes across the country, uh, 450 million, 500 million around the world, but half of these folks are going to get some degree uh, of peripheral neuropathy, and half of those will get significant uh, nerve pain. And people describe this nerve pain like pins and needles, like pain with the bed sheets touching them at night, or like the worst sunburn they've ever had, or like an electric cord that's shorted. There's all these different ways to describe it. But one thing that happens is people just largely ignore this problem uh, until it's hard to ignore and it can interrupt your daily life. It can make, create depression, lead to problems with sleep and, and your blood sugar control, and lead to all kinds of other problems uh, that you've probably heard about with diabetes that uh, really can be dramatically uh, limb uh, and uh, life limiting, as it were. I want my audience to know that Dr. Armstrong comes well qualified to talk about this subject. He's a professor of surgery with tenure at the University of Southern California. Dr. Armstrong, what has been the major challenge in treating these condi this condition you're talking about? Well, a lot of the problem has been what we're in, is, is, is the fact that a lot of folks don't even know about this problem, and it becomes like 11th on their 10 most important things, and it's that lack of awareness that creates that kind of disconnect, and there's all these different ways uh, to sort of describe uh, this, this problem, which is really why uh, uh, Kathy's here, and, and I'm here to support Kathy, because uh, <laughs> Kathy's created this entire program called Speak for Your Feet, when your feet can't speak for themselves. <laughs> Kathy, okay, you can speak for our feet. Uh, tell us about this new educational campaign that's going to be support millions, as Dr. Armstrong has said, millions of Americans and across the world suffering with diabetic nerve pain. Yes, yeah, so uh, to spread awareness and empower patients to uh, see their doctor, talk about their symptoms, uh, work with their health care team, uh, today we launched a contest so patients can share the symptoms of their condition. And what we're asking is that for everyone to create a short memory aid uh, that describes their pain, they can enter this contest by going to nervepainandme.com slash contest. So this contest, I know it's to bring awareness to it, but, and I know you're not a doctor, but what's being done to improve the treatment and the lives of those with this pain, Kathy? Well, the American Chronic Pain Association, um, we, we don't give medical advice, but what we do provide, we provide tools that they can download. So we have over 50 resources. And just recently, we launched a diabetic nerve pain toolkit. And this helps patients start that conversation with their healthcare provider. It also has tools for the caregiver and that the caregiver um, the, the patient and then the physician can all work together and look at these tools uh, that we have provided. But I'll let Dr. Armstrong talk about some of the, the newer therapies and some of the combination therapies that are out there. Yeah, thanks, Kathy. And there really are so many uh, really promising uh, therapies. And, and the good news about all these things is that if you can get out in front of it, which is why we're talking today, you can... Uh, if you attack this early, you can limit a lot of these really debilitating complications, not the least of which 
uh, is pain. But there are topical therapies. There's therapies to get your glucose into better, your sugar in better control, and your lipids in uh, better control. There are, in fact, uh, some uh, nutraceuticals and even pharmaceutical products and even interventional procedures. And this whole constellation of products and therapies gives the doctor and the nurse a whole arsenal to work with the patient rather than working on the patient. And that's the whole goal with this Speak for Your Feet uh, campaign. Dr. Armstrong, uh, my audience listens to me on a multi multiplicity of, of platforms, and this one comes from Twitter. And they want to know that they've been told that they're pre-diabetic. You didn't talk about any way to avoid that condition. Is there a way? Yeah, you know, there is. That's such a great question. Uh, and uh, uh, the, the fact of the matter is, is that there's probably about 80 or maybe 90 million people right now in the United States alone living with what we call pre-diabetes, or the $5 term is impaired glucose homeostasis. And that population does not have to sort of convert, as it were, to, to diabetes. If you just get a little active, and it's easy to talk about this on the radio, but if you just get, if you just add 20 minutes a day, three days a week, and talk to your doctor, he or she might be able to get you on uh, a, a dose of a medication that might help your uh, uh, glucose control, you can dramatically reduce your risk of converting from prediabetes to diabetes, and in doing so, you can reduce the risk of a lifetime of complications down the road. So there is a lot of hope there. That's just a great question straight away from Twitter. <laughs> Dr. Armstrong, you know, I'm astounded by the numbers that you have quoted, and I know they're accurate and I know they're true. I'm so very sorry that people are suffering from this disease. Is there a place online where they can go and learn more so they can fix their feet and maybe ward off this disease? Kathy? Uh, you can go to www.theacpa.org, and then Dr. Armstrong, you have a website? Yeah, sure. You can definitely go, uh, just for general diabetic foot advice, for sure, go to diabeticfootonline.com. That's diabeticfootonline.com. You are very, very welcome. Dr. Armstrong and Kathy, I want to thank you so much for uh, educating me and my audience. Be well, be healthy. Thanks for thank being you. my guest That's on it, the Valder yeah. Beebe Show. Thank you. I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.